I'd like to walk through the steps of getting uh, ROS2 working with uh, Go1 EDU. Now, first off, I want to give a shout out to Marno in our forums. He originally posted something about this in here and then walk through the process. And there's many uh, road bumps to get this working. Uh, not only did I follow Marno's instructions, I did run into a couple of other issues and I want to uh, share that in this video because I feel like uh, it's important to understand what's going on and how to overcome these issues. We'll be working on uh, forking the original code and uh, simplifying this process, but uh, for me it was a good learning experience and I'd like to share that here. If you've followed uh, any of our previous videos, you'll know that uh, Docker is a dependency that will be required for this. I'm currently doing this on my Windows desktop, but you can uh, do it on whatever system you prefer. And I have a gist here that I'll share beneath the video and um, you can follow along. So let's get started. There is this uh, image, this Docker image that you'll need to pull down and run. So I'll go ahead and run it here. This has both Ubuntu Focal as well as Ross Foxy. So uh, that's very convenient, it makes uh, this process even easier. So now the uh, instance is running. I'll just go directly into it uh, via this web uh, VNC, which makes it very nice to be able to uh, quickly get up and running. Then I'll go uh, to the terminal and we'll just sudo apt update to make sure we get all of the latest packages. And then for a uh, ROS2, I like to just uh, create a different workspace than, than the default maybe that you do on ROS1 with a catkin workspace. So that folder and subfolder now exist. We'll go ahead and CD into our source folder and we're going to clone a couple of the uh, packages. The first is this Unitree ROS2 to real and then the legged SDK. Now keep in mind for this to work with ROS2 you need to make sure that you have uh, ver tag version 3.5.1 so we'll go ahead and do this. I'll need to copy this into my instance so I'll put it on the clipboard. Inside the source directory I'll just paste this so we'll go ahead and clone that and keep in mind one thing here is you'll see this ROS2 unitary legged messages. We'll actually need to move this out uh, folder above where we currently are, which is one of the first uh, things that Marno had pointed out. And, you know, I'm kind of frustrated with some of the doc lack of documentation that Unitry provides. You have to uh, stumble across this, but um, that's a good thing to know. We'll get that to that here in a minute. The next thing we need to do is we'll get the... Uh, Unitree legged SDK. So I'll CD into the ROS to real folder that we just created and we'll clone the legged SDK at version 3.5.1. Okay, so that's done. And as I mentioned, we'll need to move uh, this Unitree legged messages up a level. So let me just show my current directory path. It's kind of hard to see this blue on black background, but uh, Unitry legged messages. And I'll go ahead and move that. Sorry, ROS2. We'll move it up a folder. So now that's done. I'll CD into the home directory of this Ubuntu user. The next step will be to clone and build then install LCM. If you're not familiar with LCM, it's a, a lightweight way for us to communicate uh, using UDP. That's what is going on under the hood. If you look at the legged SDK, it talks about the dependencies to run that where LCM is necessary. So I'll grab these next lines here and we'll clone. Right click and paste these lines in. We'll go back to our workspace and at this point you'd expect everything to work just like in the other examples but of course uh, we're going to run into some issues so everything looks good i've run i've begun the build process 
and we have our, our first error here, this build failed. Now let me actually show you in the repo uh, what's going on. Unfortunately, Unitree has made the expectation that uh, you've downloaded the lagged SDK and unzipped it. If you've ever downloaded it directly from GitHub, you'll know that it appends this master directory. But since we cloned it, that does not need to be in there. So you could work around this two ways. You could have downloaded the zip file and unzipped it and everything would be okay. But I'm a big a fan of cloning. So I'm going to demonstrate, we're going to edit this file, the CMake list file in the Unitree ROS to real directory. So I'll paste it in here. And we'll just change the references because if you recall, when we cloned, we did not have the master folder in there. So I'll go ahead and remove those two. We'll go back, we'll build again. We get a little bit further, everything looks like it's going to work, but what will happen next is uh, there's a reference to a, a variable name that that is misspelled. So you'll see here that there is a message that position does not exist, and you'll see here that it actually is uh, how it's spelled here, P-O-S-T. I O N. So let me show you that in the repo just to give you a, a point of reference. So line 44, it looks from, you know, first glance like everything's okay, but this actually needs to intentionally be misspelled so that we can build. So I'll find the path to the header file. We'll go back in and we'll make sure that we uh, update that. So I'll go ahead and pay, uh, paste that in. We'll go to line 44 and change position to P-O-S-T-I-O-N. I'll build again. So things are coming along nicely, but keep in mind, you know, Marno and, and myself included, Following his instructions, uh, ran into uh, this error and then a couple more. So it says two packages finished, everything looks good, and then we'll source the setup file and then we'll run the example, we'll run the ROS2 UDP high level. So if I'm going to go back to my environment, so then I'll do a source. So that'll load uh, our workspace. Then I'll paste that in. And of course, yet another error. And this error is related to uh, something missing from the CMake list file. We need to go ahead and put uh, this install for this uh, Unitree legged SDK lib folder. So I'm going to go in and because we have previously edited this file, edited this file, I can go up on my keyboard here and then directly under this include directories declaration we'll go ahead and put this install right below it I'll go ahead and save that let's uh, run again actually I need to build You'll see uh, so it gives an error, so I'll build again. And then after we build, we'll need to source again. We'll source, we'll build, and let's run. Okay, so this is the one that really stumped me. I spent some time. You're going to now see a lib lcm shared object file error and finally the last step in this um, quite comical journey of, of getting this to work we need to do a sudo ld config dash v so if i do ld config dash v okay and we run you can see that uh, our high level control 
is now enabled, but uh, one thing to keep in mind, that's just one piece of the equation. This a node needs to be running, and then also, in addition, if you want to do the high-level example, I'll go into the repo just to show you uh, what this reference is. So we'll do the walk example. This is the same one as we've done with ROS1. With the new terminal, I'll go to my workspace. I'll source setup. And then we'll run the ROS2 walk example. So I'll do ROS2 run unitry. You can tab and you'll get the examples available to you. So this is where you would connect to your Go1. I'm not going to do that here. I've done that many times in the past, but you'll connect to the network and you'll see that uh, the commands are being sent and you'll see Go1 respond. I'm going to wrap this up. I know that was a lot of a stumbling into how to get this working. I wanted to share it mainly because it was fresh in my mind and I didn't want to forget it. We will work towards uh, cleaning some of this stuff up in the repo just by forking it and hopefully submitting a pull request. A, a shout out once again to Marno. Thank you for uh, your guidance and I hope uh, everyone is able to experiment with ROS2 as well as some of the example code. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, jump over into the forums or uh, post a me message beneath the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.